In the ancient world, there stood a man, a man whose ideas and inventions were so advanced that they continue to influence science and engineering today. That man was Archimedes, known as a mathematician, inventor, and engineer. He is remembered as one of the greatest minds in history. But Archimedes' story isn't just about math and inventions, it's about curiosity, creativity, and how even in the most unexpected of places, innovation can occur. Archimedes was born around 287 BCE in Syracuse, a Greek city on the island of Sicily. At the time, Syracuse was a lively and wealthy city filled with art, learning, and trade. This environment was perfect for someone as curious as Archimedes. We don't know much about his early life, but we do know he likely came from a well-educated family. His father, Phidias, was an astronomer, so Archimedes likely grew up learning about the stars and math from a young age. As a young man, Archimedes traveled to Egypt, where he studied at the famous library of Alexandria. This was one of the most important centers of learning in the ancient world, filled with knowledge from across the Mediterranean. Here, Archimedes studied everything he could, geometry, physics, astronomy, and more. It was during this time that he began forming the ideas that would make him a legend. Archimedes was always curious about how the world worked. He didn't just want to watch and wonder. He wanted to measure, understand, and solve problems. This drive to uncover the secrets of nature would become the foundation of his incredible career. As Archimedes grew older, his genius became clear in both math and engineering. He didn't just focus on theories, he created practical inventions to solve everyday problems. One of his most famous creations was the Archimedean screw, a device made to move water uphill. It worked by using a spiral inside a tube. When the spiral was turned, it lifted water. This invention was simple but so effective that versions of it are still used in irrigation today. Archimedes was also fascinated by how levers and pulleys worked. He studied how these tools could multiply force, making it easier to move heavy things. He once famously said, give me a place to stand and I will move the earth. While he didn't actually move the earth, he designed lever and pulley systems strong enough to lift huge weights with little effort. These tools weren't just ideas, they were used for building building ships, lifting heavy materials, and even in battles. In math, Archimedes made huge discoveries. He figured out how to measure areas, volumes, and even calculated pi with amazing accuracy for his time. One of his greatest achievements was finding the formula for the volume of a sphere. According to the historian Plutarch, Archimedes was so proud of this discovery that he asked for a sphere and cylinder to be engraved on his tombstone. Archimedes also loved geometry and numbers more than anything. He often created puzzles for himself just to solve them. While many of his works have been lost over time, the ones we still have show how much he pushed the limits of what was known. He wasn't just answering questions, he was changing how people thought about math and engineering. One of the most famous stories about Archimedes is his Eureka moment. It's a legendary tale that shows both his brilliance and creativity. According to the Roman writer Vitruvius, this happened when King Hero II of Syracuse gave Archimedes a tricky task. The king wanted to know if his new crown was made of pure gold or if the goldsmith had secretly mixed in cheaper silver. The problem was that Archimedes couldn't damage the crown to test it, so he had to find another way. Archimedes found the solution while taking a bath. As he stepped into the tub, he noticed the water level rose as his body went in. Then it hit him. The water displaced by an object depends on the object's volume. Using this idea, Archimedes realized he could test the crown by measuring how much water it displaced compared to a piece of pure gold of the same weight. If the crown displaced more water, it must contain less dense silver. Archimedes was so excited by his discovery that he reportedly jumped out of the bath and ran through the streets of Syracuse shouting, Eureka, Eureka, which means, I have found it in Greek. 
While the details of the story might be exaggerated, the principle he discovered became the foundation for understanding density and buoyancy, which are still important in physics today. Archimedes used his method to test the crown and found that it wasn't pure gold. This proved the goldsmith had cheated the king. This discovery not only showed Archimedes' genius, but also demonstrated how careful observation and logic could solve real-world problems. His Eureka moment is now a symbol of scientific discovery and the joy of uncovering something new. This story also highlights Archimedes' ability to connect abstract ideas to practical problems. The principle he discovered, now called Archimedes' principle, is still a key concept in fluid mechanics. Whether or not he actually ran through the streets naked, the story perfectly captures the excitement and curiosity of a man dedicated to understanding understanding the world around him. Archimedes' death is also as famous as his life and inventions, happening during one of the most difficult times in Syracuse's history. In 212 BCE, during the Second Punic War, the Romans, led by General Marcus Claudius Marcellus, attacked Syracuse. Even though the Romans had a stronger army, they couldn't conquer the city for two years because of Archimedes' incredible war machines. Plutarch tells us that Archimedes invented powerful weapons like catapults that could throw giant stones and grappling hooks that are called the Archimedes Claw that could lift and flip enemy ships. These machines made Syracuse nearly impossible to capture. Even Marcellus, the Roman general, admired Archimedes' genius and reportedly said, we are fighting against a geometrical Briareus, comparing him to a mythical giant with many arms. However, eventually, Syracuse fell to the Romans and tragedy struck. Plutarch explains that Marcellus had ordered his soldiers to protect Archimedes because he respected his intelligence. But during the chaos, a Roman soldier found Archimedes working on a math problem. When the soldier told him to come with him, Archimedes reportedly said, Do not disturb my circles. The soldier, either angry or confused, killed Archimedes on the spot. The death of Archimedes was a huge loss for the ancient world, but his legacy lived on. The Roman writer Cicero later found Archimedes' tomb, which had a carving of a sphere and a cylinder. This honored one of his greatest achievements, discovering the relationship between their volume and surface area. Today, Archimedes is remembered as one of the greatest minds in history. His inventions during the siege showed how he could turn ideas into practical tools, and his math work shaped the future of science and engineering. From his famous Eureka moment to his untimely death, Archimedes' life is a reminder of the power of human curiosity and creativity. And with that, Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story and want to learn more about incredible moments in ancient history, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.